A rapper's career is as unpredictable as the music industry itself. With platforms like SoundCloud and TikTok, we've seen thousands of new artists explode onto the scene seemingly overnight in recent years. However, with the rap scene now saturated and more music being released today than ever before, artists often fall as quickly as they rise. For some, the fall from grace is quiet as they disappear off the grid or return to their previous lives. But for others, it's difficult to accept this inevitable fate, leading them to do whatever they can to pay their bills. I just want to ask a question. Um, are you younger? Can you turn around? I think y'all are you just fell, you must have fell off or something. Like. Uh, 1111, shout out to you. I wish you many mornings for many moons. I think you all put that part together. Yeah, it seems like you might have fallen off or something. 1111, shout out to you. I wish you many successes today and beyond. We often hear discussions about whether a rapper has fallen off or why they did. However, Nobody ever talks about what happens after a rapper's career declines and the spotlight fades. Making a living as a successful musician in 2024 is extremely challenging, and I applaud anyone who can do it. The purpose of this video is not to expose or call out any artists. All good things must come to an end, and there's nothing wrong with working a regular 9-to-5 job and making money legally to pay your bills. While it's easy to mock rappers who are no longer popular, such as Young Jock, who now drives for rideshare apps and appears on the VH1 show Love and Hip Hop, which is often seen as a sign of falling off, I respect that much more than some other actions. For instance, rappers like Smoke Perp and YBN Namir, as we'll see shortly, have resorted to scamming the few fans they have left. For two thousand dollars, he basically agreed like he was gonna pay my money back. I was the first one to get my money back once he gets paid or once he gets money in. He was looking for that, never got no response. So pretty much as the dud, like charge it to the game. The extravagant lifestyle of a famous rapper seems to be all about million-dollar record deals, luxurious mansions, expensive chains, watches, women, and designer clothes. However. The reality is that nothing lasts forever. But before we delve into the real life of a former artist who struggles to maintain that wealthy rapper image, despite being buried in back taxes, like Lil Pump, I want to share a fun game I've been enjoying. Winter is the perfect time to get cozy at home with a mobile game you can really get lost in, and I believe I've found the ideal one. This popular mobile hero collection RPG, played by over 80 million people worldwide, is not only free to play, but also features over 800 unique champions to collect and customize for epic battles. The graphics are impressively detailed, offering console-quality visuals right on your mobile device. If you enjoy collecting characters and having a great time with stunning gameplay, make sure to click the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen to download Raid Shadow Legends today. As we approach the heart of winter, Raid offers a variety of icy cold champions to bolster your squad. My favorite has to be Warham Frost King, not just because of his cool appearance, but also because he's fantastic for early and mid-game players needing extra support in the arena. Alternatively, there's Sir Nicholas of the Sacred Order, a void legendary champion. Sir Nicholas is already top tier, with skill multipliers that allow him to deal heavy damage and a secondary skill that places a valuable shield based on damage dealt. Alongside these incredible characters, Raid is also delivering a massive holiday present. The Curse City is one of Raid's biggest updates since the Doom Tower, featuring 100 stages, including challenging levels where you must face two bosses simultaneously. If you haven't started playing Raid Shadow Legends yet, now is the time. Click my link in the description or scan my QR code, and you'll receive two epic champions available only through my link. The first is Lightsworn, a powerful epic champion, and the second 
is Epic Juliana after reaching level 15. Once you're in and conquering enemies, find me under the username 1111 with three N's. Join my clan and I'll see you on the battlefield. Considering rappers often have huge egos and can't bear the thought of being seen working a regular job, it begs the question, what do rappers do when they fall off? To answer that, we first need to define what it means to fall off because there are definitely different levels to it. According to the Urban Dictionary, to fall off in the rap world means to disappear from the public eye, either due to not releasing new material, releasing poor quality work, or selling out. Many fans today might say that artists like DaBaby, Chance the Rapper, or Roddy Rich have fallen off. While it's true that their popularity may have waned, as shown by recent album sales, they still earn millions each year from their massive hit songs and by performing at shows worldwide. Hey yo, what happened to your leg? I was at the top and I fell off. <laughs> the same goes for an artist like B.O.B., who, aside from his flat earth theory, hasn't been in the spotlight for nearly a decade. Yet, with massive hits like Airplanes, Headband, Nothing on You, Strange Clouds, and Magic, it's clear he's financially secure. Soldier Boy, even though his music career has seen better days, is still earning significant money from his iconic tracks. So that number, it was like a subscription, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you could text it or call yeah. it. And, and you know what I'm saying? So I probably make like 100,000 a month off of that, just people calling that number. Even rappers with just one big hit, like Sheck West with Mo Bamba or CJ with Whoopty, could be set for life if they've managed their finances well. These tracks were massive mainstream successes. So while you won't see DaBaby working at a fast food joint, you might spot a smaller artist like Icy Narco, who is reportedly working at Bojangles. However, there's nothing wrong with hustling to make ends meet, especially considering how little artists earn from streaming revenue. To put it into perspective, Spotify pays an average of only $0.003 to $0.005 per stream, which is relatively high among streaming platforms, but still less than a penny per stream. For instance, take Desi Hines from Pro Era. His 2023 Spotify stats show 550,000 streams, which amounts to roughly $2,000. While other platforms like Apple Music add to the total, it's clear that the real money for artists comes from ticket sales and merchandise. However, if you're a rapper who's fallen off like Smoke Perp, it becomes challenging to sell tickets or merchandise, leading to viral clips for all the wrong reasons and furthering the narrative of decline. When you sign with a record label, you lose ownership of your music, and the label takes a substantial cut of your earnings. Despite the enticing multi-million dollar advances offered by labels, the music industry can be a trap. Here's what motherfuckers don't understand about labels. You're taking their money. You're not gonna make a cent until everything you do pays them back that $10 million. Typically, when a rapper signs a record contract, they receive an advance, which can amount to millions of dollars. However, this isn't free money. It's a loan that the label expects to recoup from the artist's revenue. This advance is supposed to cover everything needed to produce an album, including living expenses, studio time, music videos, etc. Often, young rappers fail to budget properly and end up spending recklessly on luxury items, living the rock star lifestyle. The trouble begins when the album finally drops, but sales fall short of expectations. Consequently, the label may refuse to invest further in promotion. This can lead to management restricting the artist's release schedule, especially if their new songs aren't performing well, causing tension and frustration for artists feeling shelved by their labels. When everybody said, oh, my record label's controlling me and I can't get out of this deal. Bro, the record label's sitting back like, wait a minute, 
you didn't do anything. Your shit flopped. The $10 million we gave you was for you to make a dope project that wasn't gonna flop. You already broke your contract. So now you think we're gonna let you go away and just get out of this deal while still owing us money? No. Eventually though, labels might decide they no longer want to work with an artist and drop them. Even if the artist still earns some money from their past catalog, it's usually not enough to sustain the lavish lifestyle they were living. You often hear rappers claim they chose to go independent. And while that might be partly true, these major labels hold a lot of power and influence in the industry. If they truly wanted to keep an artist, they would have offered more money. One thing y'all gotta know is now, your boy is independent, bro. I'm fully independent, just me. You feel me? I ain't get dropped by my label, no crazy shit, nothing like that. Basically, me and my label, we just weren't seeing like eye to eye and shit, so, so uh, they finally let me go after a long time. Meanwhile, all the bills these rappers have been putting off are quickly adding up. The rent on their new condo, the lease payments for their sports car, lawyer fees, accountant fees, and of course, taxes. Today, with how easy it is to record music from your bedroom, we've seen thousands of new artists blow up from one or two songs on platforms like SoundCloud or TikTok. However, with the music industry being more saturated than ever, it's time to ask, what happens after their 15 minutes of fame are over? There are two paths a rapper can take when they've truly fallen off. The first is to deny they've fallen off and continue their career as if nothing happened. The second is to accept they had a good run and move on to something new. Let's start with the first option. There's nothing wrong with continuing to make music if you love it. And for the fans who still listen, whether that's a million or just a few hundred. However, there are clear signs that a rapper's career has significantly declined. Hey, all this money, you just come here and stand like this. Y'all look weird as shit. Turn the f up. You are not too cool to jump. Turn the f up. Along with low album sales and streams, you'll also see a noticeable decrease in the size of crowds at their shows. One of the best ways to gauge an artist's true popularity is through physical ticket sales. For example, an artist like Smoke Perp might have 4 million Instagram followers, but how many people actually come to his shows? Because of this, you'll often see struggling artists shift their focus to overseas fans, trying to make money there while they still can. Since they only perform there once every few years, the venues sell out. While that's great, and fans enjoy the performances, remember that an artist like Icy Narco, who boasts about sold-out dates in France, couldn't even sell half the tickets in the US. So you'll see them take smaller bookings like frat parties and birthday events to stay relevant. Another tactic fallen rappers use is to jump on whatever sound is trending, like Smoke Perp copying Yate. But while some artists try to milk their music careers for every last dollar, others choose to leave on a more peaceful note. One rare case is Joe Budden, who, after releasing eight albums, retired in 2018 to focus on his new career as a podcast host. Similarly, Trinidad James, who blew up with his debut hit, All Gold Everything, was dropped by his label in 2014. Now, besides landing a few acting roles, Trinidad James is also a host of the full-size run podcast on Complex. I just feel that if niggas was gonna stop me from doing my thing in the game, they would have been stopped me. And if you were gonna kill me, you should have killed me five years ago. Once one of the hottest rappers, thanks to his smash billboard number one, this is why I'm hot. Mims chose to step away from the mic after his second album. He then moved into the technology field, eventually launching an app called Recordgram. The goal of this app is to help artists and producers connect directly without unnecessary middlemen. Meanwhile, former rapper Bun B has not only opened a restaurant in Houston, which won the Good Morning America title for Ultimate Burger Spot, 
but he has also been teaching a course on hip hop and religion at Rice University since 2011. This class, Religion and Hip Hop Culture, offers an opportunity to explore the connections between religion and hip hop in ways that open us to seeing our world differently. Ice Ice Baby rapper Vanilla Ice has spent the past 15 years buying and flipping lakefront properties in South Florida. He even landed a show on HGTV called The Vanilla Ice Project, which ran successfully for nine seasons. Milkshake rapper Keeleys has since moved to a farm where she finds liberation caring for over 30 animals. She continues to earn royalties from the numerous movies and shows featuring her song, such as Dodgeball and Mean Girls. Although Lil Xan, known for his 2017 SoundCloud hit, Betrayed, continues to release music every few months. It's also great to see that despite his decline in the music scene, Lil Xan has turned his life around and is now completely sober. I've been sober now for a year and I believe six months. Wow, that's yeah. dope. That's impressive. However, while not every former rapper has the ingenuity to develop an app like Mims or the patience to run a farm like Kelly's, how do these other rappers make money? With criminal backgrounds and face tattoos, it can be challenging for rappers to find regular jobs after their music careers fade. As a result, one of the most common ways they earn money is by promoting products on social media. From tagging clothing brands like Fashion Nova to spamming reposts and advertisements in their stories, many artists turn to these methods. For instance, Smoke Perp, after I expressed interest in his feature price, essentially started begging me to buy one through my DMs. We go back and forth. We agreed on him sending me just the vocals mm -hmm. separately. Uh -huh. He never sends them. It's hard to say how many other SoundCloud rappers are scamming their once loyal fans for a few hundred bucks, agreeing to collaborate, and then disappearing after receiving payment. However, there are other ways rappers earn money too. Driving for Uber Eats and DoorDash is fairly common, as it allows them to earn without being recognized. Some, like former Houston rapper Lil Troy, have even become truck drivers. This way, they avoid the scrutiny faced by Young Jock and Roscoe Dash, who went viral after people reported seeing them driving for Uber and Lyft. As an entrepreneur, it's important to have multiple sources of income. The Lyft is no exception to creating multiple sources of income. There's nothing wrong with driving Lyft. There's no shame in driving for Lyft, working in call centers, or taking remote jobs from home. Many people choose these paths to avoid being in the public eye, even though there's nothing wrong with working at places like Walmart, as seen in a viral post last year allegedly showing Ugly God working there, though he claimed it was photoshopped. The image spread across social media, leading fans to speculate that his rap career was over. Similarly, some rappers, like Bun B, venture into the food and restaurant industry. Blueface, for instance, owns a soul food restaurant called Blue's Fish and Soul, while another SoundCloud rapper, Kine, owns several Subway franchises. I be smart, I still got ice and but like, I got a couple businesses already. That's dope. Yeah. Dang, you got two Subways already? Mm -hmm. That's very impressive. And, and you're didn't 20. fire nobody. She's still working itself, you feel me? Some artists return to college or complete their degrees online. Others, like Designer, rent out properties they own. Some, like Blueface, Lil Pump, or the Island Boys, turn to OnlyFans for additional income. Others, like Fetty Wap, go back to making money in the streets. Some stay in the music industry, working behind the scenes as ghostwriters or producers. Occasionally, you have cases like T Grizzly, who started streaming on Twitch and now reportedly makes over $200K a month just by playing GTA. So what I did was I created a server, a, G, a Grand Theft Auto server. I get paid from the server because you, you got to pay to get in. I stream it on Twitch, right? I get paid from Twitch. I take the Twitch videos that I already streamed, put it on YouTube, get paid from YouTube. It turns it down there 50 a week. Another common and easy way for these artists to earn money is by signing up for Cameo, where celebrities can be paid to send personalized videos. For example, you can pay Riff Raff $100 for a custom message, which I actually did, and it was just what I expected. Another common and easy way for these artists to earn money is by signing up for Cameo, where celebrities can be paid to send personalized videos. For example, 
you can pay Riff Raff $100 for a custom message, which I actually did. And it was just what I expected. 11-11, uh, shout out to you. I wish you many monies for many moons. Dan Tony on the wings for me and Holly. You know it's all about how you're feeling. Because how you're feeling, yeah, right, Mama? How you're feeling determines how your day's going to go and how, how you're going to be treating others. If you're, if you're sleepy, you're going to be sleepy. Dan Tony. Wanks. Money well spent, if you ask me. The journey of a rapper who has fallen off is more than just trying to regain lost fame. For some, it's about finding themselves again and embracing new opportunities beyond music. Because one thing's for sure, even when the music stops, the story continues. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, like share, and then check out this next video.